It's been an absolute joy over these last two weeks to have our church open again and to see a, a steady stream of people coming into the church each day to pray before our Lord in the tabernacle. And I hope that those of you who have had the opportunity to come to the church and pray have found a great comfort and a great solace here. Now, there's some good news and there's some bad news. The good news is that we can resume public worship in the Mass from Saturday the 4th of July. The bad news is that we have to limit the number of people who come to Mass and we have to follow very carefully the guidelines that have been given to us nationally for this. And that means that we have to not only limit the number of people that can be in the church at any one time, but we have to be very careful about hygiene. And that goes for when we enter the church, when we leave it, when we clean the church after each Mass, and the way that we participate in the Mass, the way that we come to Holy Communion, for example. So there will be some very careful but quite strict restrictions placed upon priest and people. Now, as we start coming back to public mass over these next few weeks, I do ask you to be very patient because it's going to be a new experience for all of us. And we have to just get used to the way that we're doing things, which will be a little bit different to what we've been used to. If you want to come to public mass over the weekend or any weekday, bearing in mind that the Sunday obligation throughout this lockdown period has been suspended, so we may come to Mass any day. If you wish to come to Mass, then go onto the parish website and book a slot, a time for Mass when you would like to come. Now, we realise that there are some people in the parish who won't have internet access. So if you know someone who would like to come to Mass and can't access the website to book themselves in for Mass at a particular time, then please be generous in offering them your help. You might offer to do the booking for them, you might even bring them to the Mass yourselves if it's safe to do so. So once again, let's give thanks to God for all the graces we've received through this time. I thank you for your amazing patience during this period, for the many, many messages that I've received, especially through emails and social media about how much you've appreciated the live streaming of the liturgies. Please continue to pray for me. Please continue to pray for each other that the parish family, through this trial that we've lived, will continue to grow and be ever stronger as we slowly start to emerge from it. So God bless you all and continue to keep you in his love and grace.